Meet Isaac and Joseph, two healthy Texas boys. But one didn't start out that healthy. Can you guess which boy had a disease so severe that as doctors predicted, he wouldn't live to see age 20? I was very excited to find out I had a son, but finding out that he had sickle cell anemia, as a nurse, I knew that there was gonna be a lot of problems associated with that disease. The child can have strokes. Uh, can stunt is, you know, the child's growth, you know, and damage some organs. And, and the child can die at an early age, at age 15 maybe, or earlier. He was a very loving child. You could pick him up and carry him. But the pain was evident in his hands and feet. When you touched him, he'd just cry and cry, and we knew then something was wrong. And he had so many crises his first year that uh, we were very, very scared and, you know, very worried about his uh, future. We didn't expect to have him very long at all. Eight months after Joseph was born with all the, you know, blood transfusion, high fever, swelling of the legs and arms, uh, you know, at three years old, he started getting worse. And, and I remember at three years old, he had had three blood transfusion. That right there scared me to death. Then he told us about stem cells adult stem cells, and that's when we decided that's what we'd look for. But we were not able to find a match as we looked for more than a year to find a match. And in the meantime, Joseph was steadily getting sicker, sicker, having crisis after crisis. So we were just desperate as we looked for that, uh, any kind of match. Adult stem cells are found in many places in all healthy people, including the bone marrow. And they actively repair our bodies to heal cuts and bruises and to rebuild damaged organs. You can collect stem cells from the blood or marrow of donors or from the patient themselves. Now it sounds peculiar, but a newborn's umbilical cord blood also contains adult stem cells since they come from a fully formed human being. Joseph's bone marrow was so damaged, he needed an adult stem cell donor. And about this time, Darlene became pregnant with Isaac. Isaac umbilical cord blood, the adult stem cell was gonna save my son's life. And that adult stem cell got my son cured today. He is healed. And when I'm talking about no more sickle cell, no more running to the hospital, no more fevers, no more blood transfusion, he's a healthy child today. And a sickle cell patient has a really low count of those uh, immature red blood cells called reticulocyte. Now Joseph's numbers were always very, very low, but now since Joseph has had his stem cell transplant, his retic count is normal and his WBC count or his white blood cells show no signs of infection or anything at all, so we don't have to worry anymore about Joseph. He is now normal just like any other nine-year-old. The Texas legislature is considering a pro-life bill, Senate Bill 73, and its companion, House Bill 2379, to promote ethical, life-saving adult stem cell research and treatments. As Texans, we have a choice. We can support adult stem cell research, which has proven to help many like Joseph and successfully treated thousands more with over 70 other medical conditions. Or we can fund embryonic stem cell research, which requires the destruction of human embryos and is yet to cure any disease. Let your elected officials meeting in Austin know how you want them to vote to invest your tax money. The stem cells did make a big difference in our life. And now we have a son that uh, the future is his, basically. He does not have to be hindered by such a devastating disease like sickle cell. And it all is because of Dutch stem cells from his little brother Isaac. Now we know that his life has been saved and he is now cured of his disease. Yes. Please help put patients first in Texas. Visit TexasAllianceForLife.org to learn how you can encourage your state senator and representative to support Senate Bill 73 and House Bill 2379. Or call them today through the Capitol switchboard at 512-463-4630.